Hi everybody and thanks for joining us on today's phone.com webinar. Today we're going to be showing you how to add extensions, phones, and soft phones to your account. So I will be your presenter today. My name is Derek Arteas and I'm a customer service representative at phone.com. A few quick things before we begin. If you guys have any questions, please enter them in the GoToWebinar questions tab and we will hold all those until the end and have a nice Q&A to wrap things up. And today's difficulty level is suited for beginners, so pretty much anybody and everybody will, will find some benefit from this. Okay, a quick overview before we get started. I find a lot of people ask how they can reach their clients wherever their business takes them with our service. And I think we have a really unique offering in being able to offer a platform of connectivity wherever you are if you're not in one location all day. And this is accomplished with four separate extensions on your phone.com account. The first is a virtual extension, which is usually used as a virtual mailbox, forwarding to a cell phone, or accessing our phone.com mobile app. Uh, the second is a mobile extension, and this is for use with a third-party app called Bria, made by Counterpath. And this will allow you to make and receive calls on your cell phone using Wi-Fi data instead of your cell phone minutes. Third is our communicator extension, and this is software that is installed on your PC or Mac, and it will let you make and receive calls directly from your computer. And last but not least, more, the more traditional route is to order an IP phone or adapter, which is great for a home office or if you need a physical phone on your desk. So let's jump right into the virtual extension, just some common use cases to go over that most people use this for. It's really great for forwarding calls directly to a voicemail virtual mailbox that you can then get emails to check messages for and call people back. You can also forward this virtual extension directly to a cell phone. And lastly, you'll want to add a virtual extension if you want to use our mobile app for the Android or iPhone. And just to highlight a few awesome benefits, um, we recently re released some new features for the iPhone app. You can do numerous things like placing outbound calls using your phone.com number as a caller ID. You can access your phone.com address book. You can manage your inbox messages like SMS, faxes, any voicemails you've received. You can see your call logs for a specific extension. You can also send SMS and faxes directly from the app and you can start a conference call as well. So it has a whole bunch of things. So definitely encourage you guys to check that out if you have an iPhone. And if you, if you want to search for that on the Apple Store, you just search for phone.com mobile. And let me show you what it looks like when you pop it up so you'll get an idea. So it'll, it'll take you to this landing page. This is what you'll be searching for is phone.com mobile. And here's some screenshots, very nice interface developed by one of our great programmers by the name of Andy. See, that's your inbox listing, that's starting a conference call, that's sending an SMS message, placing a call, and that's our, our nice menu that we have. And it's completely free, it doesn't cost anything, so please download it and give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now how to add a virtual extension to your account in configure it for these use cases. So to start for this, we'll go and select configure at the top of our page and we'll select add a user extension. Anytime you add an extension, you'll get to choose your type here and we will select virtual extension for this example. If you want your extension to receive unlimited inbound and outbound minutes, you can select this checkbox and it will show you your applicable pricing on the right here. And just select add virtual extension to add that. So the extension is now added. You can see it gave us extension 501 as the name. You can certainly change the nickname or the extension number right here. And you can also choose the caller ID that you want to use for your virtual extension. So I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna go into too much of this stuff as this is all things we've covered in another webinar, but please feel free to look through these settings on your own time. So to set up a virtual extension as a virtual mailbox, we just need to forward calls directly to voicemail if somebody gets to extension 501. 
So to do this, we're going to select Call Handling Rules on the left under Settings. And this takes you to the Call Handling Rules page. And all you need to do is change Select Operation to Leave Voicemail. And you can choose the extension to have voicemails left on, preferably the, the one you've already made. And Save Rule Settings. So when, when somebody calls your number and you decide to forward it to extension 501, extension 501 will then say, will then direct callers directly to voicemail and they can leave a message. You can get an email about it and then you can check it and call them back. Um, to forward calls to a cell phone, you'll change the leave voicemail to forward call and you'll enter your cell phone number here. And you can choose your ring time, your ring tone. We have many, many song choices to choose from. If you want a voicemail left on the phone.com account, if you do not pick up your cell phone, you will want to select add next action and change this select operation to leave voicemail and then choose the extension you want voicemails left on. And we'll save real settings to save that out. So the last and final use case was for the virtual extension was to use our mobile app for iPhone and Android. This is going to ask for three pieces of login information. It'll ask for your phone.com number, your extension number, and your voicemail password. So let me show you really quick how to find these three pieces of information. To find your phone.com number, you'll go to configure at the top of your page. And you'll select manage the numbers on the left and you can select any number on your account, it doesn't matter, just choose one. And to find your extension number, you'll select configure at the top, manage users and extensions, and you'll notice here we have our newly created virtual extension, so you just choose the extension you want to sign in as. The app is extension specific, so it can only access one extension at a time. So definitely choose the one that you, that is assigned to you, or that you prefer. So after you get your extension number, you'll need your voicemail password, and we can find this within the extension settings for your extension. To get to this, we'll select the edit box next to the extension we've chosen. And then we will slide on down to the voicemail section, and you'll notice you have a pre-generated password listed here. If you don't like this for any reason, you can change it to whatever you want, like I can do one, two, three, four, and then save changes and then my password would, th would then be 1234 for signing in. Okay, moving on to mobile extension. This is a really cool offering that we have with Counterpath, I'm a third party company. The benefits of using this is that any calls that you place or receive will use Wi-Fi or cellular data instead of your cell phone minutes. So in our previous example, when we were forwarding a virtual extension to a cell phone number, that is going to use your cell phone minutes when you answer the call. If you use a mobile extension, it'll only use your phone.com minutes, not any cell phone minutes. So it's a great option if you always have internet connectivity or if you have a data plan on your phone. Um, this, this extension does cost extra. It's $4.99 a month for a regular extension. But if you have an unlimited minutes extension, then adding this to it is free. You also have to purchase the app directly from Bria from either the Android or iPhone app store, and it's a $7.99 one-time purchase. Now let me let me show you the link in the store. So if you search for Bria, it's the Bria VoIP SIP phone with video and messaging. And they have some pictures of the interface here. It looks very very quality app. Okay, so let me show you guys. Once you, if you do decide to go this route and you download the app, it's going to have you choose a provider from a listing. So you'll choose phone.com as the type, and then it'll ask you for a username and password. And I will show you how to get that right now. So within your account, you'll go to configure at the top again, and you'll select add a user extension. And instead of virtual, we're going to choose mobile extension. 
And just, just to give you a heads up, you only need a mobile extension if you plan to use the Bria app from Counterpath. You never need a mobile extension if you're just forwarding to a cell phone. I see a, I see a lot of people making that mistake, which is, which is understandable, but just to give you guys an idea, you'll always use a virtual extension if you're forwarding to a cell phone, and you'll only use this if you want to use this third-party app. Okay, so we'll select Add Mobile Extension. And let's check out that really quick. Okay, so it's added now. So to get back to viewing the login information, we'll go to Configure and Manage Users and Extensions. We can ask that we have a mobile extension which is currently offline because we have not signed into it yet. So to get our login info, we'll select the edit box next to the extension. And we'll see a mobile extension logo here. If we choose view server details, it's going to give us a username and password. And you'll want to enter these directly into the Bria app. And it'll, it'll register and sync up with our services. And then you can start making and receiving calls. All right, moving on. We now have our communicator extension, and this is software that you can install on your PC or Mac, and it allows you to make or receive calls directly from your computer. Um, this does operate on a licensing, license-based system. So the first computer that you install this, this software on, it's going to be locked to that computer. Um, if you're in a situation where you need to use our software and multiple computers, you're going to need to purchase multiple extensions to use it on. And it's, it's $4.99 per month per extension for the regular extension. And it's free if you have unlimited, unlimited extension. All right, let me show you how to add Communicator. So again, we'll start by going to Configure at the top, and we'll select Add a User Extension again and we have our communicator type we can choose and you'll just select the checkbox that you understand the licensing system and you can also see our computer requirements down here definitely make sure you meet these otherwise you'll encounter some issues if you're still running Windows XP there are some additional service packs and root certificates that you'll need to install to get this going so once you verify that select add communicator And let me confirm this order really good. Okay, so that is added. So again, we'll go to configure and then manage users and extensions. And we'll see we have our communicator extension 503 added. To get our login information, we'll click settings just like, or sorry, we'll click edit just like we did for our mobile extension above. And you'll notice this time we have our communicator laptop logo here logo here. If you select view login info, you can get your username and password. Easiest to just copy and paste these directly into the program. And then if you select download communicator, that'll take you straight to the download link for Windows or Macintosh. And let me show you guys a program real quick to let you know how it looks. Okay, so this is Mac, obviously. It looks slightly different for Windows. But it's pretty basic. You can enter a number up here, and you can call. Um, there is, there's several contact views. Let me turn these on. So this extension, it's tied to a specific extension on your account. So for this example, I'm, I'm pulling data from extension 518. And you can view any messages that you get on your extension. So email, sorry, voicemail, fax, SMS will show up here. Um, it, contacts are stored within the communicator software itself, and you can add them directly. The address book is actually pulling your contacts from your phone.com address book, which is really cool. It'll sync up automatically. And lastly, we have call logs, which will show any inbound and outbound calls that you've made directly from this extension. Okay, 
Moving on over to IP phones or adapters. Um, there's, there's two types here that I'd like to differentiate if you're kind of on the fence about knowing which one to order. An ATA, also known as an analog telephone adapter, is used to connect a standard analog phone to your phone.com service. So this requires the ATA box, as you can see on the left, and that ATA box hooks up on one side to your modem or router, and the other side hooks up a regular phone, analog phone. On the IP phone or adapter is a bit simpler. Simpler, it hooks up directly to your modem and router, and it doesn't require any additional adapter or hardware. Um, I've also found that IP phones usually have a lot better sound quality, so if you're, if you're looking for HD voice quality, certainly look into our IP phone offerings. Let me show you now how to add and order one of these on your account. Okay, so to do that, you'll slide over configure once again, and you'll select add a user extension. And we're going to choose number four here, which is IP phone or adapter. And we'll select add and select device. And this will take you to the landing page for all the devices that we personally offer and can ship out. The first two are the ATA analog telephone adapters. And then we start having our basic IP phone models. And it, it graduates up into our Panasonic, which is really cool. It's a cordless handset system, and you can have up to six cordless handsets if you, if you need that flexibility. Otherwise, pretty much all these are wired handsets designed for one desk. So if you choose one, let's do the Grand Stream as an example. You select that. You can do your shipping address or you can add a new shipping address down here. And you'll select Add Selected. Oh, one thing to mention, we do offer overnight shipping for $25 per device. If you need that done, you'll need to contact us directly and we'll have to place the order for you. Let me add this real quick so I can show you guys what it looks like after you add it. Okay, so the device is added. If you go to configure, manage users and extensions, you'll see your new device is added here. And it currently shows us offline, obviously, because you haven't received it yet. but once you plug it in, it'll take about five minutes usually for all devices and they will configure themselves. So it's really cool, it's plug and play. You don't have to do anything extra when you order it directly from us. And if you ever wanna check on the status of your order, you can go to my account, account home, and it'll say one new device on your account. You can select view order status and it will show you your tracking number once it's shipped and you can check on it there. All right, so of course, people want to bring their own device, which is super awesome, and we definitely support that. Um, we do advise you to please check with our support team to see if your device is supported. We do support a wide range of devices, but there are some specific models that we just are not compatible with at this time. Um, if, you're, if you want to be safe, most Cisco and Polycom phones we support, but please do check with the specific model and we can verify it we verify it before you purchase anything if you want to add your device to your account this is something that has to be done on our internal side so you'll need to reach out to us from you we'll need the mac address for the phone in the make and model and the mac address is usually on the sticker label on the bottom of your phone device all right so that was a great overview of all the extensions available on your account. I'm now going to wrap this up and show you guys how to forward to your extension so you can start to receive calls on the newly created extension that you made. This is the final step in the process. Um, this will differ a little depending on your unique setup. You can also forward from a menu. You can forward from another extension, or you can forward from a queue. Um, in, in, this, in, the, in this example, I'm just going to show you how to forward directly from your phone.com number to keep it simple. Let me go in the interface here. Okay, so 
We've been hanging around in the Manage Users and Extensions page lately. Um, let's go ahead and let's forward to extension 503, which is our communicator. So we'll just say we have our communicator installed on our computer and we're ready to receive some calls. We can already place calls, but we can't receive any because we haven't set that up. So to do this, we'll go to configure at the top of our page and we'll select manage numbers. And we'll see both of these numbers right now are unassigned, so they're not going anywhere. So let's configure our 858 local number. We'll select the edit box to get into the settings. And we will select edit again on the number action section. And again, this gets us to the call handling rules page that you saw in the first part of this webinar where we were forwarding, we were forwarding to a cell phone. So in this part, we're going to select, select operation and change that to forward call. And since we want to forward to our communicator extension, we'll click this little icon. And it's really cool. It shows you all the extensions you have on your account. And we were going to do 503. And then if we don't answer on our communicator, I would like a voice on the left on our phone.com account. So we'll select add next action and we'll change select operation to leave voicemail. And we'll choose 503 for the voicemail. So the way this is gonna work is that if somebody calls our 858 local number, it's gonna forward the call to our 503 extension, which is our communicator soft phone on our computer. And if we don't answer after 20 seconds, it'll then leave a voicemail on the phone.com account. And you just select save rule settings to save all that out. And this, you know, this would be the exact same setup if you want to forward to your mobile extension, which I believe was 501, or your virtual extension, or your device. So you just you just choose the applicable extension on your account, and it'll it'll do whatever you you set it up to do. All right. So that was all I had for today. I hope you guys enjoy this great overview of extensions, phones, and soft phones. If you have any further assistance or questions that don't get answered in the Q&A, I definitely encourage you to reach out to us. We have 24-7 phone, phone support at our 800 number. We have email and chat support and also have our Twitter and Facebook social media team standing by to help you out. Thanks again for joining us and I hope you have a great day.